Welcome back to The Express in Port Moody. The folks that live in this city are known for embracing the outdoorsy way of life. So I wonder what they'll think about our next story. Forget going around the world in 80 days. Instead, one guy is living inside the airport for the full 80 days. It's day 33 of living in the airport for Jagger Ma. He's wasting no time in getting his day started and he likes to begin with a little bit of luxury. One of my favorite things about the Plaza Premium Lounge is there's always two hot plates going. So today we have some rice and it's always nice to have an, uh, you know, a, warm, a warm meal and that's the best part of Plaza Premium Lounge. A couple spring rolls and uh, you can never go wrong with the sweet chili sauce. It's kind of a must. Jagger was chosen out of hundreds of applicants to live in YBR for 80 days and tell all the stories he finds as a part of their 80th anniversary. And he's wasted no time in making new friends. Yeah, you can do what you need to do. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to order about four bottles of champagne for my room and maybe those chocolate truffles that you have. I really like those chocolate truffles, yeah. What else should I order? What else should you order? Um, some caviar. Oh, caviar, yeah. Jagger likes to joke around and have fun, but he does have a lot of work to do as well. Today, he's helping people find places to stay and things to do at the Visitor Info Centre. Everything else that they want to do once they're here. Okay. We're going to uh, dress him up and put him behind the counter and give him a sense of what it might be like to interact with people who you've never met before, who you're likely never to see again, but people who are coming to you because they're here, they've just arrived and perhaps they don't know where to go, where they want to stay, what they want to do. <laughs> Hello. Hi, hello, bonjour, and welcome to the British Columbia Visitor Center. Where are you traveling to? Um, I'm going to downtown, can you help me? Downtown Vancouver? Yep. Okay, and how quick do you want to get there? As quickly as possible. It's called the Millennium Line. It's Jagger right says he's learned a lot of surprising things about YVR during his time here, and he's had a lot of new experiences as well. I didn't know how much technology YVR embraced in, in basically just the construction and, and the day-to-day -day operations of YVR. They are so ahead of their game. So when I came in here again, I didn't know much about airports. I didn't know much about the aviation world. They really embrace technology. One of the coolest things that they have is a system that detects um, objects on the runway. Once Jagger is done his shift at the visitor center, his day is really just beginning. So Vancouver is north from here. So after a long day of editing and being on my feet, can't wait to get back to the Fairmont and just kind of kick back and get on my computer and start editing all the footage. Here's my nice welcome to the humble abode of Sir Jagger Ma. Yeah, one of the coolest things I was able to do here at YVR was I was able to sit in a $12,000 seat, Cathay Pacific First Class. And it's like basically you get your own little apartment suite. Like you got a bed, you got a dresser, you have a little desk, and there's another get, there's another chair for a visitor, and it's all compact into one little capsule. And I was able to sleep in it, and they served me only the best congee in the world, which was a lobster congee. Delicious. Being stuck here for 80 days doesn't mean he has to rough it, and although he's having a lot of fun, he certainly can't wait to get home. Oh man, I'm going straight to my hometown, I'm going straight to Port Alberni, I'm gonna to go to the country farm, and I'm gonna hang out with my dogs. Not my friend dogs, but my actual real dogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hang out with my dogs. I'll see you guys at the tarmac, everybody. Catch you later. Good job, Bear. I'm Peter Verge in Richmond for The Express. Jagger says it's hard being away from his friends and family, but that he can get used to having all his meals prepared and his bed made every day. Couldn't we all, hey? You can follow his blog online at live at yvr.ca. Now next up on the Express, it's a new series featuring a spender and a saver who tackle all kinds of topics to see when to go big and when to stick to a budget. Today, it's a fitness test put to the test. Summer is finally here and it's time to hit the beach. But it's also the start of the dreaded bathing suit season and I am not beach ready. That makes the two of us. I'm working off my winter weight by investing in boot camp sessions with drill sergeant, I mean personal trainer, Tommy Europe. Well, I need to tighten my belt before I tighten my bun. I'm hitting the gross grind for an Olympic sized workout that's free. I'm going big and I'm going budget. Welcome to Tommy's Playground. I picked boot camp because it's summer. I want to get outdoors. You're going to squat straight down. This isn't too bad. I could do this. A successful boot camp is one where everyone's having fun, everybody's working hard, and everybody's getting results. I'm just going to show up and get my butt kicked. Come on, to the left. Yeah, this is hard. I think Ashley's going to start off strong, but then taper off towards the end. All the way down, all the way down. This isn't all the way down? That's all the way down. Oh my 
gosh. While Ashley's paying to do push-ups. Is this almost a push-up? I'm hitting Mother Nature's Stairmaster, the gross grind, with Olympic athlete Rob Fagan. Budget is always a thing. As an athlete, you have to give up the spice in life to do your sport. What should we say to ourselves right now as we're about to tackle these 2.9 kilometers straight up? Keep going. Left, right, left, right. I think Bianca's going to do excellent on this, this grind. I think we're ready to go. Now for you. Okay. Keeping the edge. <laughs> Keeping the edge. It's pretty brutal right now. It is way harder than I thought it was. You know how I said we're halfway there? Yeah. Yeah, I think I might have lied. Oh. Meanwhile, back at blood camp, I mean boot camp, this is torture. Let's go, let's go. Come on, Pinky. Ashley's fit, but she's not in tip-top shape yet. Good. Use your legs, use your core. I'm nervous. I don't know if I can make it to the end. I need to run like it's a shoe sale. Store's about to close. Go, 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 go. I'm starting to think if maybe this investment's gone wrong. Can you feel that stretch? I can feel something. <laughs> Over at the grouse grind, I wasn't feeling so great. All I want to do is run backwards down the hill. Motivation is huge. You have to keep your focus, really push yourself, see what you can do. You ready for this, Speedy? I think this is it. Oh, you're looking straight up to the sky. Hands up. Oh my gosh, so hard. We got our motivation, but what we really oh. needed was perseverance. I can see the light. One more, one more, one more. You can do it. Victory. Nice work. One, two, three, shut boot camp. Up. Woo! Thanks, Rob. Nice job. You too. Whew. I didn't know if we were going to make it. Bianca did really well. She was sweating. She was clawing at the rocks. The great thing about the grind is it's always there and it's always free. Ashley, rest up because tomorrow is round two. I loved boot camp. Well worth the investment. I think by the end, I think I pulled my bum. I went budget. I went big. Let's hit the beach. Yeah. Look at that. To find out more about Tommy Europe's Shred Boot Camp, you can visit his website, Tommy Europe TV. As for Rob, he's busy training for the upcoming season and hopes to compete in the 2014 Olympics in Russia. You're watching The Express, and we've got fashion and some flirty photography coming up. After the break, you can feel fantastic at any age. It's West Coast Styles, undressing your age. Works for you. This is Carla exhibiting our 20s look. And Jacala, you're thinking... The Wedding Bells Boudoir Lookbook. The Express. We are your local voice. And then slowly open your eyes. Nice. Push out your chest. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... Hairstyling and color services for Shaw TV. Provided by The Lounge Hair Studio. LoungeHairStudio.com Just being yourself. <laughs> be a new you in only minutes. Mm. Why be you when you can be me? Your before photograph. Yeah. Perfect image package. Oh, why be you when you can be me? Step up for your after photograph. Why let someone else decide who you should be? I think the Sea to Sky Trail is very unique in the fact that people with different disabilities, different levels of disabilities, uh, maybe not even disabilities, maybe someone with a stroller or uh, someone who just has a hard time walking. Just having a trail of this extent going through the wilderness the way that it does, we never get to see that anywhere and we never get to use something like that anywhere. But you don't have to be disabled, but just to be out with your friends, your family, it's so important and it's so rewarding. Welcome back to the Express in Port Moody. You think this looks beautiful? Well, wait till you see today's Wedding Bells feature. They've brought in a makeup artist, a pro photographer, and they're wearing lingerie. Carrots Wedding Bells is brought to you by Carrots, online at carrots.com. Hi, I'm Aubrey. And I'm Sarah. And we are the Wedding Bells. I just got engaged. And I did not. We're on an adventure to plan the big day. One, two, three, jump. Let's face it, Sarah and I love getting our photo taken. So we headed for a boudoir photo session. Extend your neck. With Ellen Ho of Hong Photography Studio. With clothes from Ghetto and hair and makeup by Mink Makeup, we were ready for our photo shoot. 
But I had one question. What is boudoir anyway? It's a French word. It means bedroom. I was nervous. Boudoir photography is a sexy laundry session for everyday women. Everyday women with cellulite? Yeah, it could be anybody. Doesn't you airbrush matter. the cellulite? Uh, I do. Boudoir photos are a great gift to your husbands, your boyfriends, or even for yourself. This little puppy's name is Bossy. I don't get naked in front of anybody, well, including my fiance. Yeah. <laughs> well, Sarah, you're going to have to be in lingerie around Bossy. Even the prettiest girl will get really, really nervous. I'm going to give these pictures to my fiance the night before our wedding for him to remember forever because I will never do them again. And then Bossy really set the mood. Bossy. I'm feeling so sexy right now. I was ready to go. Aubrey, you look so oh good. God. Or so I thought. So you have your head right here oh, and legs is up. nerve wracking. I was thinking I saw the couch I should do the George Costanza. <laughs> And then this fabulous tip changed everything. Relax your eyes, relax your lips, sinking your sleeping, and then slowly open your eyes. Nice. Push out your chest. This is fun now. Finally, Sarah revealed her outfit. I'm ready. Bam, bam. Sarah, we gotta change your clothes. Let's go. Really? Yes. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. I'm ready. Lay down sideways and have your legs up all the way. Aubrey, can you bring me a paper towel to wipe my sweat? Yeah. Being sexy is really hard. I have to keep my toes pointed, my butt in the air, my eyes in the corner. I'm very confused and tired right now. And you're kind of like, you're thinking, oh, I'm so beautiful. <laughs> I can't believe I did it. The photos were amazing. Sarah went from wearing flannel pajamas to a sheet, and we definitely felt empowered. Bossy wants to be friends. I'm allergic. My hip is seizing up. Ellen makes you feel very comfortable, and I feel like I'm in a girlfriend's living room. And it's, you know, you this, are in a girlfriend's living room. This is what we do on a Friday night. These clothes and the ambiance, it makes you feel great. Boom! For Shot TV, where are the wedding bells? Carrots Wedding Bells has been brought to you by Carrots, online at carrots.com. You know, I never realized until today that boudoir was French for bedroom. Interesting. Well, we've got more fancy fashion for you with our next feature. Some people question, can we look fashion forward in our 40s or even our late 50s? That age-old fashion debate is being put to the test with today's West Coast style. Pacific Center's West Coast style is brought to you by Pacific Center. The West Coast is one of the most beautiful places on the planet, and I'm on the hunt to make sure that the people here look just as good as where they live. I'm Mana Mansour, and I'm a lifestyle journalist searching for the most cutting-edge fashion and beauty hotspots, deals, and tips, all in our own backyard. I'll do the shopping so you don't have to. This is West Coast Style. A dilemma we as women often face is how to look fashion forward while still keeping age appropriate. So we've come down here to the Bay in downtown Vancouver to get some tips on how to look great while still keeping with each age category. But first, this is not the Bay of our mother's time. We're here in the new 22,000 square foot second floor where we'll be shopping in the Bay's new, the room and the bridge space. Newly launched this fall, The Room and The Bridge offer shoppers a new experience at the Bay, giving them access to higher-end brands from Blanciaga to Brian Atwood. I'm here with Tara Sadler, Fashion Sales Manager. You're going to show us all about dressing age appropriate, mm -hmm. which is so important for all of the ladies out there. You can feel fantastic at any age. It's just about learning how things fit and what style works for you. This is Carla exhibiting our 20s look. The first thing I want to point out is this fantastic jacket. And the one thing we want to take away from this especially is if you're doing a short trench, is that it covers your butt. So she's got that nice bit of coverage. It's going to keep you a little bit extra warm, and it also looks really tailored that way. Gone are the days that your shoes have to match your bag. Yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> and I want to point out that school satchels are coming huge back in, in for fall, and so this may look conservative, but it's actually quite on trend for this mm -hmm. season. 
Oh, she looks fabulous. Isn't this elegant? This huge, bold print is so on trend right now. For women who are in this age range, what are some things that they should keep in mind when shopping? Definitely go for fit before fashion. Nothing ages you out more than looking like you're trying too hard. Josie's wearing the perfect weekend wow. or casual day at the office look. These are not your daughter's jeans, Oprah's favorite jeans. <laughs> that fit Josie like a glove, may I say. And we're seeing a wider leg, which is great when you start to get a little bit older. Really stick to great, solid, basic layering pieces. It's nicely fitting to her body, but it's not, you know, uh, too loose or oversized, so it's not losing her shape. What are some key things that people can keep in mind when shopping for their lifestyle and their age? I think really keep in mind what you do every single day. If you have an office job, make sure that you buy great investment pieces that are going to mix and match well for you. It's been such a pleasure, Tara. We can't Thank wait you. to go shopping here at the Bay. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. Now for our style tip of the week. Age appropriate also means appropriate fit and look for your body. Just because it's trendy doesn't mean it'll look great on your shape, no matter what your age. I'm Mana Mansoor for West Coast Style. Pacific Center's West Coast Style has been brought to you by Pacific Center. To try on some of those pieces yourself, you can visit the Bay's newly remodeled second floor in downtown Vancouver, where they have the new Topshop Capsule Store. Then maybe you want to wear one of the new looks to one of these events we're highlighting on today's Express Spotlight. Enjoy Japanese vegetables and foods and baked goods at the Fall Harvest Festival. There'll be samples of the center's weekly programs, guided tours, kids' activities, and demos. Join members of the Potluck Cafe Society as they celebrate 10 years of their support within the community. Enjoy this lively celebration in the historic District 319 Theatre. The 2011 Vancouver International Flamenco Festival is bigger than ever, with four performances, a free lecture demo, dance conference and master classes. Here in Port Moody, the Festival of the Arts started today and runs through to October the 2nd. Now that's it for today's Express. We want to congratulate the National Ballet of Canada for 60 years, so we're closing today's show with a happy anniversary. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>